Today I want to talk to you guys about a battery strap or a battery clip that I have designed for the DJI FPV goggles version 2 for use with the original DJI battery. Now I know I am not the first to do this, there are a lot of designs out there, however if I'm honest a number of them didn't do what I needed it to do, while some of them held the battery very well like this one here which is a really nice design. It would clip in nice and easily. It kept falling off the goggles because of the way the strap went into it at the back and literally any movement when you took them off it would actually end up coming loose in my experience. So after playing with a lot of them I decided to design my own and what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through what I've come up with, show you it, show you it actually in use and then there is a link to it in the description of this video on Thingiverse, the STL is available, you can download it and use it for yourself if you feel it's appropriate. Now, the design I've come up with is similar to others, but I've made some changes. And the first big change is that the new one is going to be made out of TPU rather than PLA or PETG, because I'm actually sliding the battery in rather than clipping it. And I felt TPU was a better option overall because it allows me to do some things a bit differently with the strap. Now, moving over to the desktop to show you what I've actually come up with. This is the design that I made. The idea is that you slide the battery through into the actual holder. You then have some holes on the front. You have three holes for the last three LEDs because the idea is the first LED sits here and at that point the battery is about halfway in the strap. Like some of the other designs, you have a hole to put the excessive cable in that comes with the DJI goggles and then you've got the strap area at the back where you actually slide it in and the design I've come up with for this is sort of a folded flap. The idea is because it's made of TPU you're able to open this up, slide the strap up and into this area here, slide it into this area here and that holds it in place. This little flap helps retain the strap but because it's made from TPU it's flexible and it ends up actually moving that way and sealing this area up and it prevents the strap coming off in normal use and in my experience testing this it simply will not fall off once it's fitted. You can easily remove it but once it's on, it's on. Then moving around to the back you can see we've just got a curved area for your head just to make it a little bit more comfortable and then I put my logo on the front there as you can see. Now moving back over to the real one I'll now show you the actual unit and how it fits on and how it goes on the goggles. I've got two here I've got the original design and, and the modified final one. So if we go to the overhead what you can see here is that other clip that I showed you before and I will say this is a real nice design however it's that area there it literally just keeps falling off so you know even if I clip it on now and put it on so it holds in place which I've done you just find when you're moving the goggles around it falls off really really easily so to show you my design this is the unit here you can see, because it's in black, it's quite hard to see. You can see you've got the logo, you've got the three LEDs because the fourth or the first one would be there. We've got our hole. And then you've got this flexible area here where the strap goes in. So again, the idea is to fit it, you can simply open it up, open it up, put the strap in, that folds in, that folds in, and then we slide the battery on. So to put the battery in, we simply do it that way around. We slide it in. Because it's made of TPU, it does grip. So if you want to get the LEDs perfect, you do have to just push it in like that and then the idea is you can press the button and then you can still see the status of the other LEDs and we're in roughly 50% at that point for a balance point of view. To then mount this onto the back of the strap you simply fold it open and it is a bit easier to put on with the battery removed. You simply fold it open, slide it in, Fold the bottom strap out, flap out, so the strap actually falls in behind it, just like that. Make sure it's on properly, and then you can see it's all held and clipped in place. And the idea is, you can see it falls into that gap, and then that flap seals it. And once it's on, it literally is on, it will not fall off, and I'll show you that a bit more in a second. So then, we can simply slide the DJI battery in get it roughly right. If you're not particularly worried about the LEDs, you don't actually have to get it perfect. Because it's TPU, depending on your own tolerances will depend on how close or how tight you want it. This one is 
for me a little bit tight but i'm not particularly worried there we go i've got him there we then simply take the power cable we can then fold up the excess and because it's tpu it's nice and flexible so we can pop that in there out of the way you can get shorter cables i do recommend looking at one of the shorter cables for the dji it just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to mess about actually with the cable itself push him through and again once this is done you can simply leave it in place and then we can clip it in at the front that's actually a little bit shorter than it should be that one oh yeah i put an extra fold in it when i shouldn't have oh my straps come off let me just uh, put the strap actually back on on the side that's come off as i was actually doing it that has there we go and then that is the unit on the back i can shake it you know it is not going to come off and then when it's clipped on your head so if i just pop him on pop that up, pop that up there out the way it simply clips on the back holds it balances nicely because it's roughly in the middle i can't twist around to show you on the chair but let me let me just come off so you guys can just see it's held on nicely there like that and again the big one for me on this is that it just will not shake off it holds tightly if you really forced it it would don't get me wrong however for the most part it just holds on like that and then on the back of the goggles you can see it's there at the moment i haven't actually got it 100 percent there you go tweak the position and then you can see it's all as it should be now just to show you um where you can download this i have uploaded it to thingiverse so it is available to download from thingiverse as well for free you can go on there you can get it i need to put a few more pictures on this just to show you it in use should you uh sh just so people understand what it is but the design is on there again i've recommended you print this in tpu you could print this in pla or pet g but i'm just not sure how it's going to hold the battery it's more of a strap than a clip i might do another design later on that however right now it's like that so that's it if you're interested in getting it i will put a link to it as i said in the description of this video if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep doing stuff like this there are links to buy me a coffee as well as patreon you can also tip us on thingiverse as well if you would like to do that please do um consider sharing it if you think it's good for someone it's free if they've got a printer download it print it if you've got any feedback on it please do put it in the comment section as well i might look at doing a clip design too this is the first one i've done i might get that one done a little bit later as well anyway that's it please stay safe and i will speak to you guys again soon